Hey everyone, welcome back to Lauren Learns. I am Lauren, for those of you I've never met before. And if you have been here before, welcome back. I'm so excited to spend my Monday with you. Today I want to talk to you about my experience donating plasma. So some people are like, why are you doing that? <laughs> and to which I respond, I actually have five reasons why I think everyone should be doing it if you're otherwise healthy. Reason number one, it, it helps make medication for people that don't can't otherwise get medicine. So like it helps people with immune disorders and blood disorders, uh, people that have like respiratory like respiratory problems. They can't make these medications without them without having plasma being donated from other people. So it really does help and it's a great way to bless someone else's life. Reason number two, you get paid like money and they put it on this debit card, like a prepaid debit card, so that every time you're donating, you walk out with the card and the cash is already uploaded on it and you can take money out of the ATM or you can use it at the gas station, like it's sweet. Reason number three, there is childcare and it's free and there's a really sweet teacher like that will sit there with the kids, there's toys, it's clean. They put a show on for them sometimes and it just like, like that just is amazing to me. So yeah, if you're like a stay at home parent looking for some extra income, this is a, like, this is a good gig. Okay, number four, it's an hour of built in me time. It is really hard for us to find rest these days. <laughs> and for you to go and lay down for an hour and like read your book or watch a show or mess around on your phone, I tend to like catch up on text messages or emails too because it's hard. I don't like, I try not to do that in front of my kids. So for me to be an hour away from my daughter, relaxing, you know, just doing what I need to on my phone with free Wi-Fi, that's like, that's invaluable. Okay, and number five, it's a great way for you to meet new people. I love to go places and chat people up I've never talked to before, people that I know I um, wouldn't otherwise meet, and I just love connecting with them. I love to encourage their day. Hey, you're doing a great job with this. Like, keep up the good work. And you can just see their countenance change. Like, I love blessing people that way. And um, and just loving on them. Like, showing them God's love. That's my one of my favorite things. I love to, like, chat with the tech technicians. I love to chat with, like, other people that are donating. And just, yeah, I just talk to them. No, if you're looking for a new way to meet people, I this is a great way to do it. So, yeah, I want to tell you a, a little bit more about what a typical visit at a donation center would look like. I think there's a few actually in our town, and this one that I go to I think is actually quite big. I used to donate in college when I was in when we lived in Kansas, and it was like really small. Like there were only a few donation beds, but this one's like a factory. It's huge, but it's very clean and um, like well lit. So the first visit's about two hours long. There's like a physical that you have to go through and ask you a bunch of medical screening questions just to make sure your health or your blood is not compromised in some way. And then once you're like found eligible, you go to, there's like this, these, this line of technicians that they're just taking people one by one, but they check your blood pressure and your temperature and your, they prick your finger to check your protein level in your blood. And then they weigh you to see how much you're going to be donating that day. Then they'll take you back to this, this bed. And it's like, it's just like this reclining chair type of thing where you can kick your feet up and you prop your arm up so that they can stick you. They check your vein a couple times. I like to look when they stick me actually. I feel like it hurts less because the anticipation's not there. <laughs> and they, I mean, it, it's kind of a big needle. It's like a 20 gauge needle. And they just, you know, stick it right up in there. They tape it down, ask you if you need anything. And then you get to pump in so that you can get that blood flowing out. And the blood will flow out, the machine will separate the plasma from the blood, and then the blood that just flowed out is going to flow back into your body. So you get all your blood back, they're just taking the stuff they need. <laughs> and then at the end of the, the cycles, they've gotten all the plasma that they, that they need from you that day. They um, replenish you with a bag of saline, and it's really chilly and cold because it's at room temperature. But this one lady's like, here's your cryo rejuvenation therapy. <laughs> and I, like, it just makes me laugh. I don't know. It's so funny. Yeah, and so then you donated, the money gets uploaded to your card right away, and yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, I encourage you to do it. It's awesome. They sh they actually, a lot of these places will do like referral bonuses. So if you get your friends in on it, yeah, and people are like, why are you doing this? Honestly, my husband has a great job. We feel really blessed that way, but I'm always looking for ways I can contribute 
kind of help financially. That's like a big burden for my husband to carry, and I always I appreciate that he does it so much, so that I can st I've been able to stay at home with my babies. Like that's that's been such a privilege. But yeah, I do like to find odds odds and ends ways that I can help our family financially, and this has just been an extra fun way that I've been able to do that. Thank you so much for spending mon your Monday morning with me. I love those of you that have been able to interact with this channel and comment and like and like. It's so fun hearing from you and you're people that I've never even met before, but that's like, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting to know you. I hope you feel like you're getting to know me and let's keep learning together and always, always be ready to learn something new. Always be a lifelong learner. But yeah, on that note, go get messy, have fun, learn, and I will see you again this week.